All right, hey there, welcome to Something About Tabletop. Uh, we're using the camera today. Uh, th thought we'd try something different. Hopefully the audio is not too bad, but I guess we'll be looking into that afterwards. I mean, if it's shit, we won't be showing it. So, anyway, uh, this is gonna be the start of a series that we've been meaning to do for a while, and we did, and then the data corrupted, and then I lost all hope for the universe. Yeah. And then we're doing it again, because someone posted about it, and it reminded me, shit, that was something I was gonna do for this channel. And That's right, we should be teaching people. We should be teaching people, not making dumb skits. Whoever's idea that was, it was mine. Um, <laughs> that, that uh, so yeah, this is going to be an archetype video on Street Samurai. What -da -da -da. <laughs> now, when we say Street Samurai, we actually mean augmented fighters. Yes. People who shoot, people who sword, and people who just sword. And shoot, and bomb, and just anyone who fights and is augmented is counted under this Street Sam. You can have other abilities, like there can be street sams that can face, street sams that can drive, street sams that can even hack a little bit. I've seen that before. It's not particularly good. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Just augmented fighters. It's a very, very large on it, I, I see it all the time. It's probably one of the most played. People don't realise they're playing the street sam, but you, it's usually what you're closest to. I guess weapon specialists as well, but... It's basically the same thing, so there's no street point. Street samurai is a broad umbrella, um, yeah. umbrella term. Or augmented fighter is one way. To go with it too. Do you have augments and do you fight as your primary purpose? Then most likely you are a street Sam. Exactly. So, I mean, this is the the DPS and the tank of the group. Uh, they can put out heaps of damage and they can take heaps. Uh, ultimately, they some ridiculous. You can do some ridiculous shit shit with street Sams in terms of how hard you can hit and yeah, how yeah. fast you are. I mean, it's definitely like you've got the adepts and the street Sams. They're kind of fighting to see who's the best. Ultimately, I think it's pretty balanced, at least with this edition. Yeah, I mean, Street Sam's turn to turn, send to start out, out of character generation. Their their progression is kind of a lot... There isn't a lot of progression after character gen. Adept. Whereas adepts are just kind of like in, indefinite. They can keep growing as long as they can get magic grades. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, no, it, it, it's, a little bit, it, it's a little bit logarithmic. Yeah. So, tapers, how fast it's... Well, it's the same with all the Street Sam's. are just not fast at all. They yeah. Actually, Street Sam's are like this. Yeah, they they got steps, whereas that is because it's like, oh, oh shit, I finally got two hundred thousand dollars. Time to upgrade my agility to two higher, which is insane, actually. Yeah, it's it is. But like, like, but their progression is it, it is more of steps, whereas the adept's progression is a lot more curved in that sort of sense. Yeah. Anyway, um, I guess we'll talk about the pros and cons of playing a street sam, or to whether or not you want to play one. Um, I guess the pros are you want to do damage. Is that what you want to do? You want to make everyone dead? This is the guy who makes everyone dead. But you don't want to rely on magic? Or, well, magic, that's it. That's the only other way to deal damage, so... And you want to shoot a gun real good-like? Or you want to stab someone real good-like? Yeah, it depends on how you want to go. I mean, optimally, shooting's better than... Um, Guns like, are way better! Just, it's, it's... It, it happens. We'll explain why. Because you need strength and agility to melee, but you need agility to shoot. Yeah, I mean, strength is good for the recoil comp, but for the most part, it's just... Minimally so. Like, it's not something you'll invest any more than five points in. Unless, of course, you're an orc. Shooting requires less of an investment to be just as good or better, basically. Way better, because you can do full automatic fire, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but this isn't t telling you how you want to go. I mean, some of Don't people's favourite characters Don't have been melee dudes. I mean, he's playing one. It's not a street Sam, but... Mugen, he's a pretty cool guy. Also, the other thing... Do you want to watch your initiative go from like 30 down to 10 in one round? That's melee. It just, yeah. it all goes in one dodge, round. Because dodge you need to make a mi uh, minus 5. Um, there's there's a bunch of actions in run a gun that are not necessary, but bloody well needed at least. Yeah, I mean like... to On the rare occasion, it'll, like, if, it'll go down faster if you're fighting someone else who's trying to punch you in combat. But if, even if you're mm -hmm. not, stuff like finishing move that lets you make a secondary attack after you hit the first but, one... Yeah. Is a minus ten, but yeah, you lose a lot of initiative. If if you're going a less tanky street sand build, you will be you'll always be going first, full stop. Apart from the adept, the adept's probably always going to go first, uh, and uh, you're really tanky. Like e even just yeah. general normal street sand are tankier than adepts by far. It's yeah. easy to just get that way that gives you tankiness. Yeah, because usually when you're going for where you take money at a much higher priority, simply so you can afford all of your lovely, lovely bioware. Yeah, and cyber, and all cool things in between. Depends on what you want to be. Of course, if you're Adam Jensen, you're not taking a lot of Bioware. <laughs> no. And then there's, of course, the cons. We've kind of already talked... I mean, you, you, you do one thing. Kumbut. You make people dead. That's but it. But you do it fucking well. Now, 
it's really hard for a street sand to mechanically help in a um, uh, legwork period. Now you can help just by talking. Now really do this. Don't don't fall into the trap as playing a street sand as not talking at all and not helping with legwork at all. Like at least make your character be there because some of the funniest things that I've had most favorite things people have done with street sands is not even combat. Yeah, no. It's having an arm wrestle and distracting everyone so the face can con people. You know that kind of bullshit. That people have a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, I have a lot of fun doing. Yeah, that. it's it's fun. It's cool. It's cool doing little things like that, and you got to remember at least to kind of be and always there, even though you can't. I mean, this is kind of counterproductive because it's like the hacker should never really be in combat unless he's behind a drone or he's made a combat hacker, which you can do. You can. Uh, it's not as easy. It's not as easy. You have to sacrifice some things of hacking, but we'll talk about that in our hacking video. We're not talking about hackers right now. No, I mean, that's kind of the pros and cons. There's probably more, but we'll probably go over them as we go. Um, ah, if you're not looking to play someone who's utterly insane, because most combat yeah, monsters are I mean, insane. Most combat monsters and most street sams are going to be... I mean, they play kind of the same, no matter what type you're playing, in my opinion. And you have to get creative to have fun with them. Yeah, it's very samey unless you start getting really creative. Like, mm -hmm. again, Mugen isn't a street sam, but he's my mundane samurai. But he's just he's just crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he, he kind of he kind of falls under this. But like, we're probably not going to do a episode for mundanes. We might do an episode for face, but it's just going to be talking about how to face. Yeah. It's not even going to talk about the mechanics so much because there's not much behind it. Anyway. Roll, roll dice, be charismatic. Don't ever make your GM have to do a sex scene with you. That's always fade to black. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, unless, unless just... of course you're into that and your group does that, that's fine with me. I don't care. That's cool. We don't. All right, so yeah. I guess we'll talk about the min maxi part of it. Um, we'll go into uh... if you love the number crunching. Mm. Mm, I mean, so this is good. this is going to have some number crunching. Uh, priorities. Uh, what would you suggest for priorities for a street sam, a human? Let's say. Oh, humans. Uh, humans are D. Definitely, you want to put human in that sort of lower slot. Magic E. Magic E. Money A. Money A. Skill C. Yes, and attributes B. Attributes B. Now, with some of 10, A, B, B, E, E, or A, A, C, E, E, and then is would... disgusting. I mean, A attributes, A money, C skills, E human, and that still gives you three edge, by the way. Oh, and yeah. And E um, magic. Now, orcs are great street sams, but they're way better in some of 10. Because you can go like B B Yeah, you can C something E. I can't remember. It's easier to round them out. Yeah. They, so why do they make straight um, great seeps um street sands blah? Oh what orcs. Yeah. Because my base body is four. Yep. And, and you can get nine really easily. It or also eight or whatever. it also makes it a lot more tolerable to take um your attributes so, at, like, at C. You can take it at C, C because ultimately You already have those good points. You have body. three strength and four body base. You can easily up it to seven for three points. It's, it's all right with me. Mm -hmm. And um, your strength three, put up to five. You can even go higher. I mean, depends what you're doing. I mean, if, you, you're doing. if you if you're doing a sword person or like a melee person, you probably should be doing it because you want the most out of your mm -hmm. damage. But even having those extra points, if you've got them left over, good if you're a gunner because each point out every two points of strength is a point of recall comp, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, troll, um, oh. some tr troll in non sum tense hard. Some to ten, yeah. it's like B B C C E. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, no, no. B B C C E actually, works really well. Um, trolls work. I, I actually find trolls work surprisingly. Um, work a lot. Um, in my opinion, work a lot better as adepts. Yes, but we'll go over that in the adepts video. I know. I'm just saying that though. I just that's, that's, that's noting my feelings here. I feel yeah. that trolls can be better applied as adepts. Um, alrighty. So, I guess stats. We'll go next, because that's really important. Where are you putting your attribute points? Where are you putting your attribute points? Say you're for you. I, well, it depends on who, what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, we'll just go... We won't put numbers, but we'll just go what you should think about is the highest. Agility should be the highest. Yeah. Um, even the melee one. It can be equal. But it depends what you're doing. If you're going tanky, body can be higher than agility, because you're probably a troll, and that's going to happen naturally anyway. Yeah. In my, in my view, there are, there, there are two main archetypes. There are... Tank. I tank the shots, or I dodge the shots. Tank the shots, dodge the shots. So, for me, oh, I'm more gosh. of the B&E sort of guy. So, I play my combat monsters on the side of B&E, like that. Good, good agility, why not? So, I usually go, my priorities, agility, reaction, intuition, because good dodging, good seeing, good perception. In my opinion, like I put intuition higher than reaction. Yes, I do, because you can boost your reaction with magic or augments. You can't boost your... 
the thing with intuition is that it's used for more things unless you want to explicitly go a driver it's yeah. actually better to have that higher and again you can't boost that with augments oh. or with magic and why is because of initiative and perception two exactly. very important skills for a street sam also uh th there's a few other intuition -y things that you can do tracking if you want to be like a bounty hunter like this this it's for initiative and for dodging and then yeah. and for seeing things so it means that even outside of combat you can see threats which mm -hmm. are really good because no one likes getting stabbed or shot in the back. But yeah, agility is really important, especially for human street sams, because they don't tend to go the tanky build. Um, yeah. Of course, with orcs and trolls, you're generally going to have your strength and your body higher than your agility, of course. Uh, but say, there's the elf street sam, they're obviously going to have very they're gun high bunnies. agility. They're the gun bunnies. Basically, yeah, it's, it's gun bunny, sword bunny. Yeah, it's because... Tanky and yeah, the reason, in between. Yeah, the reason they're called gun bunnies is because it's, uh, they're... They're your glass cannons. They're very accurate. They can put out a lot of bullets and they can run really fast. Can't take a hit worse shit though. Well, they can take better than most people, at least. Yeah, that's true. Most, a, a street sand worthy salt can take a good shot though. Mm hmm, mm hmm. In my opinion, that's what makes a good yeah. street sand. Now, your dumps, depends what you're doing. You can dump strength. I've done that before with street sand. That's a gun bunny. Uh, but. You cannot uh, dump. You dump your. You dump your logic and your charisma. Yeah. Willpower is because oh. that's your stun track. You don't Never dump that. Dump your willpower. Because uh, usually street sams are addicted to drugs. Yes. <laughs> and having low if logic. If you're a man, you, you take kamikaze. Don't take the easy way. They said, "Oh, just do some cram. It'll be fine." No, you do kazi. Real man stuff. And then you die. No, <laughs> you live forever, and then you you live. <laughs> As a burnout addict and die very quickly because you think you're invincible. <laughs> yep. But no, seriously, like, never neglect. If if things get bad and you've somehow got a shot at Kami, not a bad choice. Alright, sorry for the dogs. Uh, Alright, so, qualities, I guess, um, you can take anything. You can really take anything. The yeah. most standout ones are based on the two types. Are you tanky? Toughness is a good one. Are you gonna be B and E? Cat-like and shit. Cat-like. But it really depends what you're doing because... Or oh, actually, yeah. good one. Quick healer. Three karma. Oh yeah, plus like, two healing dice. Yeah, really good actually. For three yeah. karma. I mean, the reason you can do this is because street sams are very flexible. Because there's always about ten... About ten skills left over that you can use for things. Driving, medic, charisma, and you're like, bam. First aid, gunshot wounds. Look at bam. me. You can be a bit of a face. You can be a bit of a healer. You can be a bit of a break and entering guy. Most people go stealth because ultimately a couple yeah, of points in stealth, you've already got high agility, boom, you're rolling like 10 it, like, it just lets you do more things. Yeah. I mean, it means that you don't have to wait till combat. It means you can sneak around. Mm -hmm. I mean, also, street sams, etiquette, very important. Etiquette, um, con, negotiation, intimidation. Because, all of them can be helpful. Because that's that's how a GM gets you. You think, oh, I'm a street sam, I don't have to talk. And then, then the night off from a police officer knocks on your window and you go, yes, officer, how can I help you? And he goes, what are you doing? And you're like, I've come to gun the whole building because you didn't take any ranks in etiquette or con. And yeah. then he tries to arrest you and then the plan goes to shit. And then you have to kill the police and then the HR response comes an hour yeah. earlier than the... the because... Going. The police actually have biomonitors attached to them that go off when you kill them that cause HR. And it's don't, good. don't kill a pocket. Don't. Even knocking him out doesn't work either. It's not a bad, it's a bad idea. Uh, you, just, yeah. just drive. <laughs> Alright, so skills. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, don't take too many weapon skills, please. It the triangle of power for weapons. Okay, so this is, in my opinion, now you can do more, t if you're taking the skill group, guns, that's fine. But this is what you do, you take you take a melee, if you're actually going to bother doing melee. You take a ranged, and then you take a secondary ranged. Now, you can take two melees, like unarmed and blades if you want to, but ultimately, you can build an unarmed street sand that is doing more damage than a katana anyway. Yes. It's not difficult. Yes. Mm. You can easily just take um, bone lay... Bones. Yeah, bone lacing or bone density, and you can get strength plus three. Sure, the AP's not there, but that's not that important. <laughs> Honestly, AR minus AP just translates to a few... Three AP, is... on average, I will, it does change things. Statistically. On average is equivalent of one more damage. Yeah, so... Then there's the breaks. It's it's, it's not always going to happen, but if you want, if you really want to punch things, you can do it. It's not actually that hard. It's fine. Say. I find the street sands are better than adapts in some ways. <laughs> yeah, 
That is true, but we all know that Nerve Strike is the king here. But yeah, that, that, that we'll get to that in the edit video. But um, yeah, it, for me, I generally like to take only two combat skills mostly, but that's because I generally... Because <laughs> Automatics, the great, the great yeah. umbrella... Here's a tip here. I, I don't like this skill because it's dumb. And I actually am thinking of house rolling soon some rules that you can fight... If you have a skill and a gun, minus your skill by two and you can fight any other gun. Because in my opinion, you fire an assault rifle, a semi-automatic, why couldn't you fire a sniper? It's it, it's not the same, but it's similar in half. Like, yeah, I mean, uh, it's just one of those things where no system has really perfected the yeah, because, sort of experienced combatant sort of thing. Because mm -hmm. you'd think someone who has, like, say, six ranks in automatics... They probably know how to use a fucking pistol or a yeah, shotgun. Well, the thing with all this, you can you can get machine pistols. I think there's some that fire and some burst fire semi-automatic, which is the equivalent of firing a pistol. Yeah. But you can't fire a pistol, so I, I think I might make that a house rule eventually. I don't know when. We'll have to test but, it out. But like, yeah. Back on track. Automatics is a fucking amazing skill group. Yes. Because you can fire at range. Because semi uh, f automatic weapons like rifles can fire what. 150 meters is the small range bar. 150 meters is a really long distance. It's, I think it's, it's it's either 50 or 150. I can't remember. But that's really big. You're you're not going to be firing further than that unless you're sniping. Like, and even then, you're probably going to be getting a minus three with an assault rifle because. Yeah, and if you have scopes and stuff and smartling, it's really not that much. And if you have Hawkeye, actually, yeah, minus one um, penalty for distance, I believe it is. Like, it's one increment shorter. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Hawkeye, so really good. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, assault rifles can pretty much do every, uh, automatic, so you, you, but with automatics you have different guns, so assault rifles, uh, machine guns don't assault actually come under. Assault machine guns, and machine pistols, and that's it. That is why it's the master, you have your long range, your medium range, and your short range all in one. That's but why an assault rifle can be all ranges anyway, they're just yes. not concealable. Submachine guns and um, pistols are concealable, and concealability is really important. But, also, yeah, go on. Long arms, also another good one, yeah, because that, that covers both extremes. Your sniper rifles and your shotguns, because shotguns, mm -hmm. they're bad. They they will rip up an enemy. But I mean, yeah, I love taking pistols on them. I like having some kind of melee, at least. Uh, it's always good. Unarmed, and if I don't have high strength, I take shock gloves. Eight stun damage, pretty good. Shock gloves. Low investment, high fantastic payout. result. This is the thing, like, I, I mean, this is kind of a face thing. But, or a hacker thing, I take like a couple ranks and unarmed, I get shock gloves. This isn't any one thing. This isn't any one thing. And you can get a plus two to hit with it, and you don't get any hits to damage. You a gun bunny? You a gun bunny? Yeah, oh, look. Shock gloves. Yeah, you can touch people real good. I touch you. Okay, resist eight stun damage, 80 minus five. No. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, uh, also any skills that you Oh, want? and if you're an amputee as well, because we're street sams, maybe people have cyber looms. Yeah. You can get shock hands! Yeah, anyway. So, um, things to remember with skills also to try to get athletic skills. Um, it's good also to have driving because your character's probably going to have high reaction anyway. Yeah, and if you're doing what we said, sort of, um, sort of following with the human one, and you have your skills at sea, you'll be given two points for skill groups. Throw them in athletics. You, know, you get gymnastics, get all the basic ones, and you'll most likely have the stats that you won't need to have them any higher than two, really. I could easily get ten dice on exactly. all the skills for that. It's not yeah, with only like an investment of two, and it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's usually where I put my skill groups, is athletics, uh, because ultimately I like specialization in guns. And again, perception. Don't forget that. Way too important. Minimum five ranks, I usually do. Minimum five ranks in a specialization. I don't... I mean, you don't have to. If you want to roleplay your character as being unperceptive, go ahead. But you're going to not know what was going There's an actual quality for that, so use that instead. Five ranks. <laughs> no, you... <laughs> just take none if you're going to be that unperceptive. Like... Shh. <laughs> but no, seriously. You need it. Yeah. Anyway. A, a combat monster's no good if you can't see who he's meant to be killing. Yeah. Yeah, and also so you can stop people, uh, spot people with stealthing on you, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, uh, stealth is another good one. Specialization yeah. urban. Yeah, Solving exactly. your problems, unless you're in a jungle campaign, in which course I've just told you to take a completely useless specialization. Alright, so uh, next I guess we'll go on to the gear. Um, try to have a weapon for every situation, try to have an armor for every situation. 
Our Father who art Ares Alpha, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Yes. Hallowed be the Ares Alpha. Yes. Yeah, basically that gun is the, one of the best assault rifles in the game that you can get a character creation. 11p AP-2, fully automatic burst fire and semi-automatic. And, and it has a grenade launcher on it! And for anyone who's playing a breaking and entering sort of character or sort of assassin sort of character, we pray to our lord the HK Evan Combat, for it, um, for it avoids all mad scanners. Amen. Amen. Alright, uh, in terms of bio and cyberware, I guess, with the gear... Um, well, gears are just flavor of choice. We can only yeah. name mechanically what is the like what is the best. Like Ares Alpha is just yeah. mechanically like the best of the assault rifles, mm-hmm. and the HK Open Combat, while it isn't necessarily the best of the submachine guns, it getting around it is the only gun that can get around mad scanners. Yeah, that's as of current. Awesome. So anyway, so there's a big one with street Tams is do you go bio or do you go cyber? The answer is both. That's the right answer. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're wrong. Unless. You want to do some other things, um, like you're doing a flavor character. He's all bio because he's a genetic experiment. He's all cyber because he's poor. He's yeah. And I'm so poor. Put the metal in my veins. You know what I mean? Like he's gotten it over time, and it's second hand. You know, but ultimately, <laughs> it's second hand. Whoo! I killed this guy. He's got some nice bio. Yo, Doc, can you put it in me? Sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> questions. <laughs> ultimately. It's really up to you what you want to do. Um, boost, I'm going to tell you this right now. I see people do this. Boost your attributes. Don't, I know boosting utility is cool, but you just become so flat when compared to people who are boosting you attributes. Boost the base. Boost your agility, your strength, and stuff like that. I build street sams like I build computers. I build a strong base because then you can always build on top of it. Yeah. Because if you, um, because then you, um, because if you have a strong base, you can then change your skill set to suit the situation. Yeah. Because I've seen people take a lot of uh, extraneous wear that is all utility and they take so much, it's like, well, so you've only still got five strength as an orc street, Sam. Yo, bro, you want to see my second hand cyber snout? Yeah, exactly. It's like, cut it off. That, that some... stuff's cool, but I really would suggest in min maxing, just get your attributes up because it's better. Except the image link and cyber spam. Oh. Dude, Image Link, Smart Link, Initiative Boosters... All put it in my retinas! Also, some of it's so cheap, who cares? Yeah, but never put a deck in your head. Oh, I know this is an appropriate um, time for it, but never put a deck in your head. <laughs> don't ever... Don't think about it. Alright. And if you really want to be a cool guy, Raptor Legs. It's all the cool Street Samson stuff. That's a... Shut up, deck on shut up. No, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, uh, next is tips. Uh, just to close everything off. Don't get 0.01 cyber psychosis essence. Don't, okay, so there's this thing with cyber psychosis with Street Sams. It's not a mechanical thing, but at least in my games online. It's written in the book, but it's not enforced. Yeah, so what it means is when you have, at least in my opinion, less than one essence, I think it is less than one essence. It's when you have less than one essence. You lose your humanity. You don't become, you become a, a psychopath by nature. You can't feel anymore. No, it's more you, you think yourself as above humans. You are no longer the same as everyone else, and you become a little bit twisted. It's also because, uh, you, again, you actually sometimes it's because you feel too much. Like imagine that our eyes are frail and, in from some cases, just frankly shitty. But imagine if you had perfect vision, better than perfect vision, because mm-hmm. you have cyber eyes, yeah. or you have arms that are way stronger than an actual human arm could ever physically be. It changes a man. It does. Now this this is the thing, especially it's, the yeah. penile parts. Yeah. Those definitely change your man. Definitely troll cocks. Now this is the thing with the whole like uh, Shadowrun kind of has like uh, rules as written, but they're not rules. It's law, and you need to think about that. And that's kind of what you need to think about as a uh, street Sam, or you could just not. It's up to you. It really depends on it's your. It's like licenses. Plan. But ultimately, playing a dude with cyber psychosis can be a bit of fun. Yes. Play it off. Make it a part of your character, not just something your character deals Give with. Give them a tick. It's always fantastic. Like something specific. Yeah. It's always fantastic. Uh, worrying about concealability, like I mentioned earlier, is really important. When you're going into a mission, you've got to know what you need to use, why you're using it. I guess we can run over a few scenarios. Declan, you have street sand with million gear. I, I say some situations. You tell me what you should do. Okay. Okay. The Johnson is a high-rise Johnson, and he wants you to I'm meet him in... No, he wants you to go <laughs> to downtown yeah. and meet him in a five-star restaurant. What are you going to wear? Um, I'm going to wear my full-body suit and wear yep. my chain gun. 
So what would happen in this scenario arrested. is you get arrested. What you should do is get your high fashion armor, like your sleeping tiger, like your Berwick suit and Argentum combo, Berwick suit, Argentum combo, <laughs> hail the... <laughs> That is the ultimate combo. I'm, it's on all my characters. I'm not it is, kidding you. I, it's ridiculous. It's one of those things where, like, it's... When we talk about, like, gear options, we can only say, like, the most optimal ones, and it's sad because you mm-hmm. see them all the time. What are you going to wear on your face? Berwick Sid Argentum combo. What are you going to wear on your street, Sam? If you have the money, which you probably do, it's a, it's a sleeping tiger. Why? Or a Berwick Sid Argentum combo. <laughs> no, or... No, because no, they have a huge capacity when you wear them both. Yes. <laughs> no, but you can wear a synergist long coat and a sleeping tiger. Can you? Yes, because oh, they're, yeah. the, they're by the same company. You... The most amount of armor you can get as a street sand, like character gen, is a sleeping tiger, uh, gen, um, synergist long coat. How much is that? Um, crap. That's sleeping like, tiger's 13. I think it's like 16. Jesus Christ, yeah. that's really high. That's what I mean. <laughs> so kids, if you have money and don't feel like being unfashionable, buy a $13,000 suit that can also go partially invisible. Anyway. But don't worry in the Barons. You'll okay, get so let's, let's do some more scenarios. So seriously, for that scenario... Yeah, no, wear a proper suit. Wear don't, a suit. Don't, don't bring your AK. Bring any guns unless they are unmad scannable. Because most shit in downtown that's high up is going to have mad scanners on the door. It's, it's, it's really easy to do, so they do it. Also, don't bring a, a shiv made out of a toothbrush. You just look unprofessional. You, I mean, you could if you could hide it. You could, but like you need palming for that. And if you get caught, you just look unprofessional. Yeah. I go, so why were you hiding this toothbrush in your right. cavity? So, Declan, I'm going to the Barons. And, okay. and uh, I've, I've got to go to a Johnson who's a go-ganger. What do I do? You look as rich as possible. <laughs> yeah. You walk in there with your sleeping tiger and then you get mugged. And by mugged, I mean you probably kill them because you're a street sand, but nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you kill them because you're a street sand and they don't realise the glory that is a sleeping tiger and the armoured protection that it offers. But, <laughs> yeah. no, seriously, you don't... You, you dress for the occasion just in the same way that you wouldn't go to a dive bar wearing your $13,000 suit. <laughs> You're not going to go to, a, like, a restaurant where they charge $13,000 for a meal in your five... I mean, your 50 bucks suit. <laughs> and, you know, the Barons... There is even stretching it for the Barons. Like, I'm not going to rock up in the Barons with my full body arm and my full combat arm with my chain gun. Because even if I'm meeting the Go Gang, the Go Gang is be like, what the fuck? No, you, you can, but I wouldn't suggest going to the meet like that. No. You can walk around in the Barons like that, but the problem with the meet is it's like... It, I mean, it's kind of like a job interview, and this is getting to a whole other thing. I, we won't even talk about it. But just look, 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 be scared, look appropriate. Bro. Don't, don't be a dickhead. <laughs> don't be like me. All right. I mean, unless, unless it's part of your character, then yeah. you can be. Oh, dude, if your character's a dickhead who can't dress properly, do it. Yeah, um, um, you remember, you remember Mugen. Mugen shows up to all of these things with his katana. He doesn't yeah. care. He's like, whatever. It's my cultural heritage. Stop harassing me, you racist. He doesn't actually care. He just says it to get people his back. Dear. Okay, so yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much Street Sam's in in a nutshell. Uh, they're pretty easy to play, um, though ultimately I think the only way to have you like you need to spice things up to have fun with them because ultimately you're just a gun on a stick. Yeah, you. It's the sort of thing where like if you enjoy crunch, you'll like you'll like making them and playing them. Yeah, but, but ultimately, in order for them to actually be interesting and engaging, they gotta have some flavor behind them. Yep. I mean, unfortunately, like, sometimes it can be cool to play the Adam Jensen, I never asked for this sort of thing, but it happens all of the time, and so you either spice it up just a little bit. We're not saying be full-on crazy, like, have monkey paws and a simian tail and black eyes and kill people with knives sort of fun dude, but... Don't just be, I was disqualified from the army because I killed too many people. No. <laughs> That's not my own. The next character. The next character. <laughs> I, got, I got too many confirmed kills in Vietnam too. <laughs> Vietnam too. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This was our um, rather absolutely everywhere Street Sam video. Future's too bright, gonna wear shades. <laughs> Probably gonna cut it earlier than that. <laughs>